Hey guys! I'm so full. We just got back from dinner. We ate at this new ramen restaurant near our house. And I got the miso ramen. It was so good. Um, so this week it was pretty crazy. Sonu caught the stomach virus, I think. Was it Saturday? Yes, yeah, Saturday. And he's just been throwing up and having diarrhea like several times a day. And then a few days after he got sick, Yeonu got sick from him. So he started throwing up and Yeonu didn't do diarrhea though. So I had to do like four or five laundry, loads of laundry every day. I'm not sure if you could tell my knuckles are all red because it's so dry. Because I had to wash my hands like 10 times a day. Like every time I like touch this throw up or diarrhea got everywhere. So today I have my favorite favorites. So let's begin. So this first product that I've been loving is the Malmonde Creamy Tint Color Balm Intense. This is in the color number 24, Bukke Nudi. And I got this when I was in Korea, um, the beginning of this month. This is what I have on my lips today. And this is also the product that I um, wore on the Bean Boozled Challenge. Um, I was looking through the comments and a lot of you guys were asking, oh, what's the lipstick that you're applying at the end? So it's this one. I forgot how much this was, but it wasn't that expensive because Mamunda brand is um, not that expensive. It's a super matte lipstick, but it's also very creamy. It's not on the dry side. So it's a jumbo lip pencil. A lot of the jumbo lip pencils that I've seen, you have to sharpen it, but this, you just twist the bottom. Oh shoot, okay, I think I'm more product scare me because you know some products if you twist it you can't put it back in so you have to be careful okay so this is like the perfect nudie pink shade and the staying power i would say maybe even after like two three hours it still looks good but after that i'll just touch up the texture and like the finish is very similar to the Aritaon, my Aritaon lip tints and just feels like my lips. Next product is also a lip product. And I first discovered this from Jen, um, MiJ Muse, when we were in Bali. And she was just talking about how she loves this product. And she was like, oh, no, you need to get this. Like, this is an awesome product. So right when I got back, I did purchase it. And I'm in love with it. It's like my favorite lip category. So the brand is called Cho Songha. It's Korean. And this is available on the Sephora website now. So it's like a two-in-one dual, like a tint and a gloss together. And I got mine in the color cashmere. And it's like a nudie gloss. And then the tint, it's a bright red shade. It looks kind of dark from looking at the tube, but it's not when you put it on. This might seem like a little bit of product, but you really need like maybe a dot for the whole entire lip. So this should last you for a pretty long time. So you just twist this off and it's like a sponge applicator here for the tint. The gloss, it's just like a bristle, like a nail polish. So this product, it smells so good. Of course, a lot of the Korean products smell really good. And it has really high pigmentation. Like, I don't think I've ever used a tint that had a high pigmentation as this one. And the formula is kind of like a liquid gel type. It's not as runny as the Benefit um, tints. People said that it's hard to blend, but I don't have a problem. Like it blends really nicely. I just have to make sure to blend it out like as soon as I put it on or else it'll dry. The gloss part, it is kind of very thick and sticky, but I think that's the thing that kind of keeps the product on your lips for a really long time. And so if you guys don't like the thick, glossy type of products, then I wouldn't really recommend this since you're going to kind of waste money if you only use half of it. Very similar to the Mamundu. The perfect shade of red. So all I do is kind of dot it like that. And then I move my lips around.
As you can tell, I just used a little bit and it blended in really nicely. I just have to work really quick before it dries out. Or if you want, you could apply the gloss. Gorgeous color and it's super glossy. Next, this is a mascara and this is also what Jen bought me when we were at Korea. And this is the Kiss Me Hair and Make Long and Curl Mascara Super Film. You guys, this is like my holy grail mascara now. You guys know I love Kiss Me mascaras. And I'm not sure, is this a limited edition? I think I read somewhere that this is a limited edition. But like the packaging is so pretty with the gold, light gold. And this smells so good. So this is how the bristle looks. Pretty thick and it's kind of curved and it has like microfibers in here so it really helps lengthen. You know how some mascaras, as soon as you apply it, your eyelashes just go down like that. But this doesn't do that. My eyelashes just stay up and I have it on today. I applied one coat. This is also super waterproof but I find that this is a little easier to remove with cleansing oil than the one with the pink tube from Kiss Me. So next product is a blush from Benefit, the Dandelion. I used this a lot long time ago, but I don't know why I stopped using it. But recently I grab it all the time now. And it's actually in this palette that I got a few months ago. Oh my gosh, I just stuck my nail in here. This is just the same thing as that. And it just comes in this really cute box packaging. It does have a mirror in here. It does come with this brush, but I don't really use this because I like to use my brush. By the way, this is from Must Have. A lot of people are asking what brush I use to apply my blush. So this is also the blush that I have on today. It's also the only blush that I wore throughout my whole Bali trip. It's like a soft, perfect, pink shade and it's nothing too pigmented. I read that it has shimmers in here, but I can't really tell. Like, am I blind? I can't see it. Maybe it's just really light that you can't really tell. If you have fair skin tone, it just gives this really nice soft pink flush to the cheeks. It should show on medium skin tones too since it's buildable. But for darker skin tones, I don't think it will show that well as a blush. But I know um, people that have darker skin tones, they use this as like an all over face powder, which gives like a nice glow to the face. So this is a hair essence. It's Korean. It's called RG3, I think. But my hairstylist Lisa, she gifted this to me. And you guys know, like two months ago, I got a perm from her. I got the Magic Straight and then the C Curls at the end. So I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys asking about what product I use to maintain my curls. I've always liked air drying my hair instead of using a blow dryer. And um, especially after the perm, I make sure to air dry it because if I blow dry it, the heat will actually cause like the hair to get heavy kind of, and my curls get straight. But if I air dry it, the C curls are like really nice. So I apply this essence when my hair is still kind of damp and I just apply like a nickel size mount and put it on the ends of my hair and that will help my hair to be less frizzy and dry and it'll actually keep my curls looking nice like all day. Um, so it's just clear. Just go like that and then apply it on the ends. The last thing is vitamin. I'm so bad at remembering to take vitamins. My mom's always like, you need to take vitamins. You're losing so much weight. You need to like take care of yourself. My parents bought me this. I don't know where they got it from. Maybe like they should sell it at like Target, Walmart or Sam's. This thing tastes so good that I wake up every day kind of excited to eat my gummy vitamins. And I think you could eat two a day. Yeah, two a day. So that was some of my current favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys after we get back from Cancun. Thanks for watching. Bye.